Oh my god. With us? Nope. 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 Let's get it. Subscribe to the channel. Ah. Ah. Yeah, settle down, settle down, settle down, settle down, settle down, settle down. Let me do this. Let me do this. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I go by the name of God, Gatsing I came, and welcome to the channel the second channel today your boy newt don't care out with another one bro you already know five scariest ghost videos to make you punch the screen all oh, these titles it's having me so confusing and funny but i love it so you already know and you know i love me some spooky stuff so you already know link up in the description below like comment subscribe what the fuck to do man y'all know my slogan y'all know my slogan you know my slogan i am the greatest and the worst, I think I got the next video. So, this spooky stuff gonna be let's adjust this. Let's get it. A bug ghost caught on camera, haunted. Single dad oh Alex Calvo inherited his estranged oh, grandmother's TikTok. house in Florida after her recent yeah, passing. With so he and his daughters packed their bags and moved to the home to start a new life. The house has been in his family for four generations and has been left mostly untouched. In fact, when they move in, the home is still full of his grandmother's belongings. Alex begins to record moments from his family's move to the new house and shares his experiences on TikTok. When they first arrive, Alex posts a video of the event but concerned viewers soon point out to him that there is something very disturbing in the video. Look Alex at. is shocked. A look at our new house. Wow. This is cool, right? Better than an apartment. Okay. Got everybody here. Heading on into the new house for the first time. There's there go, yeah. See how scary? Oh, it's kind of scary, actually. Oh, look at all this stuff. Dollhouse for you, Salo. Come. <laughs> Go. Okay. Um, this kitchen's pretty nice. Ready? I'm gonna go out with Mom. close the door. Did you see it? When Alex what, walks a past the mirror, yeah. a creepy dark figure can be seen in the right reflection. Now. Alex Ooh. says that he has no idea what this could have been, but he decides to keep recording his experiences in the new house. A little over a month later and in the middle of the night, this happens. Okay, I just heard a loud bang out here. It's the middle of the night. Sounded like it was coming from the kitchen. Hello? Oh, oh God. Uh, hello? Is there somebody here? Is there somebody in here? What the f Alex hears a loud bang and goes to investigate when a chair suddenly just moves on its own. Yeah, bro, you hello? gotta, yeah. Oh, yeah, bro. You gotta leave that house, bro. You gotta leave that house. You see why everyone, they left that stuff there for a reason. Leave, bro. And then, only two weeks later, he films another chilling experience. So I just captured something else on tape. Um, while I was actually taking the tape, I did not notice it at all, but you go ahead and take a look at it and tell me what you think. Okay, I just heard a really loud noise coming up here from the same place where all the other stuff has been going on. Like something was dragging across the floor. Um, turn on the lights, like everybody says. <laughs> okay, come on. I know I heard something. I don't know. Let's see, I don't know. Oh my god. Oh my, y'all saw that? Oh my god. Oh my god. Y'all saw that? He did. Right there! Right there! I don't know. There's nothing here. Oh, this light down here. 
I am down. I'm not living at all. Alex doesn't notice it at the time, but he accidentally records what seems to be a pale face staring oh, yeah, at him not, from go. a doorway. He starts to believe that whatever is making the strange noises and appearing well, in his videos might actually be the spirit of his deceased grandmother. Cut to another night, and Alex captures something absolutely terrifying. Okay, I am up here where all the different, like, scary activity has happened, and uh, I'm hearing what sounds like somebody walk around on the floorboards. As I'm up here, I can feel, like, the pressure of steps landing around me. Um, I don't really know what's going on. It's, uh, it just seems pretty f crazy to me. I, I just, this is, I don't know. This is not what I signed up for when I got this house. Oh, s***! Bro. He got hit? Did someone get pushed him? Bro. And just burn the house down. Just burn the house down, bro. Burn it down. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Come on, what was that? Holy <laughs> Holy <laughs> Is there somebody in here? Or was that actually my fing grandmother? Oh my god. Holy s. <laughs> oh. That can't be your grandmother, bro. She doing that. Oh my god. Robe is sitting there on the floor. Are you kidding me? Holy sh Alex can't believe his eyes as right in front of him someone appears to be standing in his doorway. By the time he manages to collect himself, whoever or whatever it was has disappeared. So could it be that Alex's home is haunted by his grandmother? And if not, then just what is this? I highly recommend that you watch Alex's full story over on his TikTok page. Alex Calvo is haunted. Bro, that joker is haunted. A different perspective. Reddit user Bunny Toes says that she was home completely all alone with just her grandchild. When she gave the baby her old phone to play with, the child accidentally starts recording a video and captures something chilling. Uh, <laughs> Let's change your butt. You smell like you poopy. <laughs> Oh, I saw that. Well, that's a curtain. You can't see it. It's so fair. Did you see it? Ready yeah. user Bunny Toes is shocked when she looks back at the footage. Her Lord grandchild dang. seems to have recorded a tall, shadow like figure standing right behind them. The astonished Reddit user believes. Now, there could be someone like in the house with them the apparition to possibly be her husband's deceased grandmother who passed away six years ago on the exact same spot where the figure can be seen in the video but is it a shadow figure or just a very strange trick of the light let me know could be a trick in the of the comments. light if you see a video that you think would be perfect for the top five or if you have a ghost hunting channel and you caught something great contact me at nukestop5 at gmail.com the haunting of abby Hernandez alvarez so now the name Abu Hernandez Alvarez might sound familiar to you because over the last year and a half I've featured his continuing frightening story. Abu lives alone in an apartment in Mexico City and claims that he suddenly began to experience terrifying paranormal activity at all hours. Objects would move on their own, doors slammed shut, and the sound of high heels and knocking were heard in the halls. Most horrifying of all, a strange female entity began to appear in mirrors around his house and then Ooh. the apparition even physically attacked Abiyud. In his last video, bro, if it started attacking you, man, that's what you gotta leave. Move! Posted to Facebook, he recorded a shocking encounter with the female spirit he calls Zaya. Boom. And then he just sort of disappeared for a while. Abiyud has since returned and adopted a cute little puppy named Milo. It's not long before Milo starts to regularly react nervously to something that Abiyud can't see. Oh One night God. when Abiyud is fast asleep in bed, a static camera records something very strange.
Oh no. Milo barks at something that we can't see and an ominous noise can be heard that seems to respond back to the little dog. It's almost as if little Milo is trying to protect his owner from something. Over time, Milo seems to form an odd attachment to a large teddy bear that we have seen in Abiud's videos before. The teddy bear, named Googie, often seems to just move Wait, on its own. Googie? I said Boogie. One day after frantically searching, Abiud can't seem to find the teddy bear anywhere. It's like it simply disappeared into thin air. Googie ha desaparecido y no entiendo por qué. Incluso estoy viendo aquí en el espejo hay como agua, como si saliera de él. Y toda esa agua se escurre y está directamente en el piso. Incluso de este lado también se puede ver como el agua está escurriendo, como de la silla. No sé, no lo entiendo muy bien cómo está aquí. Could be possible that little dog moved it. No, pues no, no sé cómo explicar que Ogi ha desaparecido. Like, pues no sé qué, chingados. Did you see it? Oh, Even though Abiyu shows an empty chair, Googie the teddy bear can be seen sitting in the chair in the mirror's reflection. Yeah, Even that's stranger, crazy. water appears to be seeping right from the mirror itself. Eventually, teddy bear Googie returns to its usual spot and all seems to be going well. Until one night. Abiyud hears a very loud noise coming from the same room. He once again takes out his phone and starts to record. It did not go well. He got all that weight stuff on up to make sure it won't move. I said, it will be real, real. That mirror keep getting water on it, bro. That's strange. Oh my god. What was on that mirror? Oh, damn. Man. Yeah, bro, you gotta get out of there. Leave, son. Leave. Head bell knocked down and everything too. In an absolutely bizarre twist, what looks like a terrifying clone of himself charges oh, toward yeah. Abiud, scaring him so much that he stumbles to the ground. When he gets back up, there's nothing there. Also, a strange symbol that wasn't yeah, there before what now appears on the mirror. When Abiud checks out the living room, something dark seems to be standing there with him, only visible in the reflection in the living room mirror. Oh. After this horrifying experience, Abiud takes his dog Milo on a long trip to just get away for a while. So, is Abiud Hernandez Alvarez's apartment really violently haunted? Or is it just some bizarre horror ARG? Either way, the videos ARG. are terrifying. And as always, I leave it up to you to decide. You can That's possible that he's real. You can find Abiud's entire story and many more videos over on his Facebook page. The tunnels.
It's Founded honest. in 1811, the seaside city of Astoria, Oregon has seen its fair share of dark history. In the early 1920s, most of the city tragically burnt to the ground. It was rebuilt with concrete reinforced pylons, creating a creepy hidden underground tunnel system. Many of these tunnels served as underground living space for the very poor, but they were also home to a lot of violent criminal activity and were mm. very unsafe. One of the unfortunate poor people who lived in the tunnels was a woman named Abigail. Abigail was a poorly paid seamstress in a tailor shop during the day, and at night, she lived a very hard life down in the dark tunnels beneath the shop. In 1972, Abigail saw no way out and ended it all. Her remains weren't found until a week after her passing. Another unfortunate soul that is said to inhabit the tunnels is allegedly that of a young girl named Sarah who is also said to have met her untimely death beneath the tailor shop. Over time, the underground tunnels were closed due to safety hazards. The tailor shop was sold and eventually became the Gully's Butcher Shop. Owner Diana Gully says that she has always had a bad feeling that someone or something might still be down in the tunnels beneath her store. Guests have taken photos in the basement of a sure. mysterious entity that seems to be sitting in a chair. Others have gotten nasty headaches during their visits and some have even seen a large shadow figure. The story goes that one man visiting sat down in a chair but soon fell over and then quickly ran out. Ooh. He claimed that what he believed to be the spirit of little Sarah came walking towards him and pushed him right out of the chair. Diana Gully has invited popular ghost hunters Ryan, River, Wyatt, and Skyler from the YouTube channel hey. Twin Paranormal to investigate whether the stories are true and just who or what might be haunting the Gully's butcher shop. As Ryan is interviewing Diana about her store, River is busy setting up a static camera in the tunnels. He captures something downright chilling. Yeah, so when you're checking things, maybe you could get a little bit more information yeah. about that. See, some things may uh, appear differently. Mm -hmm. When you want to do some investigations, sometimes they'll trick you. What the f Earlier, you were saying that somebody was sitting there. Right. Could have gotten scratched on their face. Mm -hmm. Or could have just. Ryan. Yeah. A little bit too excitement and them doing it themselves. What the f? What happened to you? Dude, I've never had this happen, ever. I was getting a shot, and I hear someone walking like this. Okay. And they came right behind my ear, and they're breathing really heavy. Oh, no. Wow. I've never had this happen. I almost just freaking lost it. You okay? I'm okay, but that was really <laughs> scary. I'm not was that you running it. over here? Yeah, it was me running over here. <laughs> I've never had that happen. Now, That's a weird. little freaked out, the team finishes their interview with store owner Diana and officially begins their investigation. Using a rim pod and two EMF meters, they begin to ask questions to the spirit of Abigail, and things just get weirder. That just went to red. That just yeah. went to red. Are you filming it? That went all the way to red. Yes. Can you spike this one as well? This one in my hand? Please? Ah! Whoa, 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 whoa! Thank you! Thank you, Abigail, <laughs> if this is you. That could be somebody else. Not one, not two, but three. all of their devices mm. spike at the same time. The team moves on to a different section of the basement and their devices are still continuously spiking. That's when Ryan experiences something terrifying. We're only, this just keeps going off. Thank you. Uh oh. oh. Somebody's right here. Somebody's right here. Are you over here with us? Nope. 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 I'm gone, bro. I am gone. No. I'm not about that. What? What? I just got what you got. Somebody's right here. Are you over here? There's a male. Ooh. What's up? Oh what? What? I just got what you got. Something just took a deep, deep breath right by my ear. If I had a heart monitor right now, my heart is beating so fast. 
Just like his brother River, Ryan experiences and hears the breath of someone right next to his ear. But that's not all that the twin paranormal guys catch at Gully's Butcher Shop. Here's another object here in Skylar's hand. All you have to do is walk up to this object and you hold on to this antenna or get close to this metal rod that you see and it'll light up and it'll make noise. I'm going to go ahead and set it over here in this walkway if you can come over to us and use your energy. Give us a sign that you are here with that. I see shadows. Give us a sign that you are here with that. Oh. The unexplained shape of someone seemingly walking around down in the tunnels is captured on camera. The ghost hunters have no idea what their camera has just recorded, but they do hear footsteps coming from that direction. So could this be the spirit of Abigail? Could it be the ghost of little Sarah? Or something worse? <laughs> Let me know what you think. <laughs> the investigation at Gully's Butcher Shop is not over yet. Part two will be up on the YouTube channel, Twin Paranormal, very soon. The Legend of Kashima Reiko. So the story with this next video goes that an anonymous Japanese man lost a bet with his friends, and so they dared him to explore an allegedly haunted forest Why? completely alone. Why? As proof, I'm he must film the bit, but entire no. experience. Damn. He hikes into the woods just as the sun goes down. As you might suspect, it did not go well. Oh, yeah. I ain't being by myself. It's okay you up in the dark. You better go home, bro. You want to close your hip, bro. Is somebody moving? It's getting really dark quick. Huh? Huh? Oh, 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 oh. Dark quick. Oh my God. Someone crawling? Look like someone hmm? crawling. You can run. The pale, disembodied torso of a woman appears to crawl her way out of the forest, getting closer and closer. The man makes a run for it, and the video abruptly ends. Now, Japanese viewers say that the mysterious video has a basis in the frightening urban legend of Kashima Reiko. The story says that the vengeful spirit of a woman is forever looking for her lost legs. And if she happens upon someone, she will take the legs of anyone she encounters. Mm. Thanks so much for watching. Please Hello. follow me. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, top five. You already know, man. Spooky. It's October, so you already know. Leave a bit on the description below. Like, comment, subscribe.